Spanish Greyhounds and Podencos are similar looking breeds, but they have their own specific guidelines for care. For this reason, Animal Y shares the differences between a Spanish Greyhound and a Podenco. Origin Both Spanish Greyhounds and Podencos are very old breeds, with origins dating back to ancient Egypt, where images of dogs very similar to these breeds were engraved in their artistic and architectural representations. Greyhounds are classified in Group 10 of the International Canine Federation, which corresponds to various long-haired and short-haired sighthounds. The Spanish Greyhound is one of the most indicative members of the short-haired variety. They are a dog with a long hunting tradition, being used in ancient Greece and Rome to chase and hunt hares. The Spanish Greyhound is believed to be descended from remote Asiatic Greyhounds. Podencos are believed to be descended from certain Egyptian breeds such as the Tesem, a now extinct dog that was known to accompany the pharaohs and was used for protection and hunting. The FCI includes them in Group 5, which are Spitz and Primitive type dogs, although they may be more closer to modern European breeds than previously believed. There are various Podenko breeds, largely varying according to where they developed, but all with the same origin as types of Warren hounds. Physical Characteristics both Spanish Greyhounds and Podencos have a slim, graceful and athletic body with slender muzzles, strong limbs and a long tail. They also differ in several physical aspects. Spanish Greyhounds have a small nose which is usually black, as are the lips and eyes. Their ears are also quite small, set high, triangular and with a rounded tip. As with most Greyhound breeds, they curve in the middle, forming an almost right angle that falls backwards. Their deep chest and natural slenderness make it easy to feel their ribs. In terms of coat, there are short-haired and long-haired Spanish Greyhound variations. All of them present different colours. The nose of Podencos can appear in black, pink or brown tones. It's also common for their lips and eyes to be lighter in colour than those of the Greyhound. Their large triangular ears stand perfectly erect. Their body is similar to that of a Greyhound, although their back is straighter and they are not as noticeably thin. Their coat has certain similarities to the Spanish Greyhound. Although there are no long-haired varieties, there are short-haired, semi-long and rough-haired. Character Spanish Greyhounds and Podencos have a fairly similar temperament. They are very active, sensitive and friendly dogs. Both breeds tend to be somewhat shy and reserved, although especially so with Greyhounds. They can easily develop fears and phobias if they are not properly socialised from the time they are puppies. Discover how to socialise a puppy with other dogs in the video we share on the card above. Podencos tend to be somewhat more independent and nervous than Spanish Greyhounds. Given their marked hunting instincts, it's possible that living with smaller animals is difficult and requires painstaking adaptation education. Spanish Greyhounds tend to be more tolerant of other animals as long as they have time to get used to them. Care. Now let's discover the care that both breeds require. Spanish Greyhounds are sprinters since they were bred for hunting rabbits and hares in open fields. Even if we don't employ them for this purpose, it's important to allow them to run and get enough physical and mental exercise on a daily basis through walks and play. Their characteristic physical makeup requires a very good quality diet. Podencos also need a lot of physical exercise, but they tend to be somewhat more restless and excitable than Spanish Greyhounds. Ideally, we should offer environmental stimulation that encourages autonomy and decision making. Another good option is to carry out daily skill training sessions, as they tend to respond better to obedience exercises. Both breeds are very sensitive, so all their education must be done using positive working methodologies. Health now that we know the physical and behavioural differences between a Spanish Greyhound and a Podenco, we will discuss possible health problems. Spanish Greyhounds are resistant dogs with little predisposition to suffering congenital pathologies and with a fairly high life expectancy. Their traditional, rural and very active lifestyle puts the Spanish Greyhound at greater risk of dislocations, strains or fractures, as well as diseases transmitted by parasites. It's essential to deworm and vaccinate them. They are also very sensitive to low temperatures, so we must protect them from the cold by using coats and preventing them from spending the night outside. The Podenco also enjoys fairly robust health and has a strong immune system. Heat strokes or thermal shocks are relatively frequent during summer outings, so it's essential to keep Podencos well hydrated. Some Podenco breeds are especially sensitive to allergies and skin problems, requiring special treatment in terms of food and hygiene. They are also very sensitive to cold. 
If you want to see more comparisons of dog breeds, don't miss the playlist we share here. Are you thinking of adopting one of these two breeds? Let us know in the comments if so, and we'll see you next time.